thousand percent is. If you want to sit on a committee in the city of Mississauga, after we hopefully get reelected and appoint citizens, you had better be a citizen of Canada. Because I will not stand for it. It's about time people stood up for this great country. And what I said exactly was non-citizens of Canada should not, and I will never vote for, a non-citizen of Canada. And in reference to the comments you've made, what I've said is when you ask for those privileges, I'm here, I don't want to be a citizen, but I want to sit on the library board and decide what you can read, I say no. But back to the fundamental question, because it still has a bigger part, and I have the floor. I want to ask, answer the fundamental question, because you haven't. You're talking about social policy. She asked about Ward 7. The three big issues in Ward 7, you haven't heard it from anybody else. Number one, the Cooksville Creek floodplain. How many times have I spoken to the issue? How can these people not know about it? Well, why would they? The next big, big issue in Ward 7 I touched upon earlier, Gypsy Moth. The residents there got my letter on it last week. Pat Hertzberg's here from the Gordon Woods. She's the Gypsy Moth lady. It could devastate the whole city. These people don't even know about it. And the last thing dovetails beautifully with the Fitness Institute. It is the fact, and it was in my annual newsletter, where I devoted the entire centerpiece on what's happening in Cooksville, infill development, the fact that there's no land left in the GTA, the Greenbelt legislation and the Oak Ridges Marine legislation has brought developers back down to us. So infill, intensification, Basil touched upon it as well, and she's right, Cooksville is right for it. That's where the Fitness Institute issue came from. A developer that's never been in Mississauga in his life found this piece of land. So I appreciate the question. I still think I'm the only one that's answered it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.